a jailer is baptised. One day, on our way to the place of prayer, we were met by a slave girl. She had a spirit in her that gave her the power to tell the future. By doing this, she made a lot of money for her owners. The girl followed Paul and the rest of us, and she kept yelling, These men are servants of the Most High God! They're telling you how to be saved! This went on for several days. Finally, Paul got so upset that he turned and said to the spirit, In the name of Jesus Christ, I order you to leave this girl alone. At once, the spirit left her. When the girl's owners realised they had lost all chances for making more money, they grabbed Paul and Silas and dragged them into court. They told the officials, These Jews are upsetting our city. They're telling us to do things we Romans aren't allowed to do. The crowd joined in the attack on Paul and Silas. Then the officials tore the clothes off the two men and ordered them to be beaten with a whip. After they'd been badly beaten, they were put in jail and the jailer was told to guard them carefully. The jailer did as he was told. He put them deep inside the jail and chained their feet to heavy blocks of wood. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing praises to God while the other prisoners listened. Suddenly, a strong earthquake shook the jail to its foundations. The doors opened and the chains fell from all the prisoners. When the jailer woke up and saw that the doors were open, he thought that the prisoners had escaped. He pulled out his sword and was about to kill himself. But Paul shouted, No! Don't harm yourself! No one has escaped! The jailer asked for a torch and went into the jail. He was shaking all over as he knelt down in front of Paul and Silas. After he had led them out of the jail, he asked, What must I do to be saved? And they replied, Have faith in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved. This is also true for everyone who lives in your home. Then Paul and Silas told him and everyone else in his house about the Lord. While it was still night, the jailer took them to a place where he could wash their cuts and bruises. Then he and everyone in his home were baptised. They were very glad they had put their faith in God. After this, the jailer took Paul and Silas to his home and gave them something to eat.